you take a 45-minute drive south from the state capital in Tallahassee, Florida, veer right and continue on straight for another 10 minutes, you will find yourself deep in the heart of Apalachicola National Forest. Come early enough in the morning and on that dirt road you may run into a bit of Florida history, a tradition passed down from generation to generation, the phenomenon of worm grunting. Gary Revel is a professional worm grunter. Gary and his colleagues are up before sunrise every day, working deep in the Apalachicola Forest in a place called Tate's Hell. It's a well-earned name because this place is swarming with hungry mosquitoes, pestering gnats, and poisonous snakes. These professional grunters use an implausible method to catch worms that even they admit is like magic. D.W. pounds a wooden stake called a stab into the ground and levels his 10-pound flat iron over the top. Then he slowly, rhythmically rubs the iron over the stab back and forth. He's making the ground vibrate with this technique, and then suddenly, magically, big fat earthworms start to climb out of the soil. Look around and you see the worms slithering everywhere on the forest floor. They are like pink gold to these grunters, and the men quickly gather up the harvest in their plastic buckets. There's an art to it, you know. Uh, I've tried to teach people how to do it, you know, and they just they just give up. They say they don't they just don't understand how we can get these worms out of the ground with this stuff. A researcher at Vanderbilt University wanted to understand the science behind worm grunting, so he watched Gary work his magic and concluded that rubbing the stab mimics the vibrations of a mole digging in the ground trying to prey on the worms. So the worms climb out of the earth to avoid being eaten. Ironically, they end up as bait. The worm grunters make about $25 a bucket. They say they're not getting rich, but it pays the bills. You have to be really determined. You know, and, and uh, it's got to be in your blood to do this kind of work and, uh, and uh, be comfortable in the forest like we are. And they are comfortable in this no man's land. Gary has been catching worms out here for half a century, so it's no wonder it's in his blood, the magic of worm grunting. In the Apalachicola Forest, Dave Heller, The Associated Press. Kenneth Cantania from the Department of Biological Sciences at Vanderbilt University researched worm grunting in 2008 and published an academic article for the Public Library of Science's academic journal on this phenomenon. Cantania observed local worm grunters Gary and Audrey Revel and discovered that the worms are actually proving a theory first suggested by Charles Darwin called exploitive mimicry. In essence, the sound of worm grunters make from their fob and file mimic the sound of digging moles, the natural predator for earthworms in the Apalachicola National Forest. But instead of running for their lives from a mole, they are running to the surface and are collected and sold as bait to fishermen. In an interview with the website Assignment Earth, researcher Ken Cantina has this to say. Revel knows that this music will make the worms dance, but until recently he never knew why. And it's got less to do with dancing than running. It's running for your life. So the worms come out of the ground and travel across the surface to get away from the mole, and they're going about as fast as I think a worm could go. The eastern mole is one of the worm's most voracious predators. And it turns out that the sound a mole makes is very similar to the sound produced by worm grunters. Well, maybe not to the human ear, but to worms, they're one and the same. When you put a digging mole in an arena full of worms, you get what I would describe as a running worm. Researcher Ken Catania studied the Revel's methods. He set out to prove his theory, first suggested by Charles Darwin, that worm grunting is an example of something called exploitive mimicry. Wood turtles and seagulls do the same thing. They thump the ground, imitating an approaching mole. In the sleepy town of Sopchoppy, Florida, many residents don't know much about the science behind worm grunting or Darwin's theory of exploited mimicry.
but they do know that there is something special about worm grunting, so much so that every April they hold a festival to celebrate this unglamorous piece of Florida history. Locals and visitors come to the downtown streets of historic Sopchoppy to participate in games, contests, worm grunting demonstrations, listen to live music, and dance in the streets throughout the day and into the evening. To an outsider, this may seem like an archaic or strange event, but to the people of Wakulla County and the town of Sopchoppy, it is a small part of our local history. Former county commissioner and local anthropologist Dr. J. Wyatt Pope offers this summary. One of the things that makes worm grunting so exciting in one sense is that it is extremely sustainable. That is, those who are worm grunters have an ample supply of earthworms in the Apalachicola National Forest and they can continue the tradition that has been going on for well over a hundred years or more. And so for us in Wakulla County, we appreciate worm grunting. For those who live outside our area and outside Wakulla County and Apalachicola National Forest, they see it as a humorous activity, but it is beneficial. It is beneficial to the forest. It is beneficial to our county economically, and it is a lot of fun. And if you ever get the chance to come to the Worm Grunting Festival in Sopchoppy, Florida, you will find yourself well entertained. In the past few years, worm grunting has garnered a bit of notoriety, and the people of Discovery Channel's Dirtiest Jobs joined in on the fun. On the next Dirty Jobs, dawn breaks. Can you hear it? And there, hearken, something new, the sound of grunting. What are you doing, man? I'm <laughs> getting worms up this morning. <laughs> Feels dirty. It's pretty good at it, isn't it? Yeah, you think? I'm going to have yeah, to go get me a bucket. You're the worm whisperer. An all-new episode of Dirty Jobs. Tuesday. So if you find yourself anywhere near Sopchoppy, Florida, you'll know a little bit about a natural resource and a small piece of Florida history that can be found deep in the heart of the Apalachicola National Forest.